Welcome to the channel. Today, we dive into a story so strange, so vivid, and so utterly fabulous, it might just change the way you see the color pink forever. Flamingos, those majestic, oddly elegant birds, weren't always pink. In fact, they're born gray. So what transforms these leggy wonders into rosy icons of tropical paradise? Get ready for a story that blends biology, beauty, and a touch of bizarre. Let's begin. Prologue, a pink puzzle in paradise. Imagine this. You're walking beside a shallow lagoon somewhere in the Caribbean at dawn. The sun has barely risen and the sky is a watercolor wash of gold and lavender. Out in the water, a flock of flamingos balances gracefully on one leg, like a synchronized ballet, frozen in time. But here's the thing that catches your eye, they're impossible pink. It's not just any pink. It's flushed, vibrant, like something painted by hand. Too strange to be natural. And yet, there they stand, real, alive, and radiantly pink. But, why? Where does that color come from? And if I told you it all starts with shrimp, would you believe me? Chapter 1, Born Grey, Drenched in Mystery Flamingos hatch out of their eggs with pale grey feathers, completely unremarkable in color. In fact, if you saw a baby flamingo, you might not recognize it at all. There are six species of flamingos in the world, from the Greater Flamingo of Africa to the Andean Flamingo of South America, and they all start their lives looking like boring grey puffballs. So how do they go from dull to dazzling? Here's the shocker, it's not genetic. There's no pink gene telling their feathers to blossom into color. Flamingos turn pink because of what they eat. Their transformation is chemical, not inherited. That's not just fascinating, it's rare in the animal kingdom. Chapter 2, A Diet Drenched in Pigment Flamingos feed by sifting mud and water through their strange beak filters. They eat a diet rich in tiny crustaceans, mainly brine shrimp and blue-green algae. Now, these tiny creatures don't look pink either. So what's the secret? The answer lies in a class of natural pigments called carotenoids. Carotenoids are organic molecules that create the vivid yellows, oranges, and reds found in foods like carrots, pumpkins, and tomatoes. And guess what? They're also loaded into shrimp and algae, just waiting to be unlocked. Once ingested, the flamingo's liver gets to work, breaking down the carotenoids and transforming them into colored compounds. These compounds travel through the bloodstream, eventually coloring the skin and feathers of the bird. The result? A perfectly pink flamingo. No Photoshop required. Chapter 3, Nature's Hidden Paintbrush. Let's get geeky for a second. The main carotenoid at work here is canthoxanthin, a reddish-orange pigment that's also found in certain fish and even in some mushrooms. But here's the twist, flamingos can't create carotenoids themselves. They're what scientists call carotenoid-dependent colorers. In other words, no carotenoids, no color. In captivity, if flamingos are fed a diet without carotenoid-rich food, they slowly lose their color and fade back to grayish-white. This isn't hypothetical, zoos have had to carefully design diets to ensure their flamingos maintain that signature pink. Some zookeepers even sneak in a little beta carotene from carrots or sweet potatoes. Yes, flamingos can eat better than we do. Chapter 4, The Alchemy of Pink Now here's where it gets wild. Once flamingos consume those carotenoids, the magic happens inside their liver, where enzymes break the pigments into absorbable molecules. These molecules don't just float aimlessly, they're transported via lipoproteins in the bloodstream to the skin and feathers. Flamingos spend hours preening their feathers with an oil secreted from a gland near the base of their tail. This oil helps spread the pigments evenly across their plumage. In a way, flamingos are constantly painting themselves with their own biochemistry. It's not just color, it's ritual. And that pink? It's a symbol. Chapter 5, Color as a Love Language In the flamingo world, pink equals power. The more vibrant the color, the more desirable the bird. During mating season, males with brighter pink feathers attract more females. 
It's not vanity, it's evolution. That pink signals health, strength, and access to good food sources. A pale flamingo? That's a red flag. And it gets even stranger. Flamingos have been observed rubbing their cheeks against their shoulders to display their feathers in just the right light, almost like makeup in motion. You could call it the original Instagram filter. But here's the kicker, flamingos sometimes fake it. They've been seen applying extra oil from their preen gland before mating season, artificially boosting their color. Yep. Flamingos wear makeup. Let that sink in. Chapter 6. What if flamingos didn't turn pink? Here's a fun thought experiment. What if flamingos never ate carotenoids? Would they still become iconic birds of paradise? Probably not. Without their trademark pink, flamingos would blend into the background, less eye-catching, less adored. Their pop culture power would vanish. No pool floats. No lawn ornaments. No tropical cocktails. They'd be just another weird-looking bird with knobby knees. Their entire brand, erased. Color isn't just decoration. It's identity. Epilogue, a hidden message in the pink. The flamingo is nature's greatest prankster. It tricks us into believing it's born fabulous, when in reality, it has to earn its beauty, one bite of algae at a time. And maybe, just maybe, there's a deeper message here. That beauty isn't something you're born with. It's something you build, through what you consume, what you surround yourself with, and how you present yourself to the world. The flamingo isn't pink because it wants to be pretty. It's pink because it chooses to be. And that is pretty amazing. If you enjoyed this deep dive into the science of flamingos and their fabulous feathers, don't forget to like the video, subscribe for more strange and fascinating stories from the natural world, and share this with a friend who needs a splash of color in their day. See you next time. Thank you.